I'm Seema Josen painting Delphinians from the Book of Flowers. This is my reference. I'm going to do it, uh, paint it in my own way. Whenever you attempt to paint white flowers or very light colored flowers, always have a background of a dark shade. Um, I have put all kinds of blue, Prussian blue and on on my page first on my paper can that's Canson paper and then I have um, taken shades of pink and uh, made uh, my petals where I want my uh, delphiniums are a cluster of flowers uh, and they grow uh, in this conical shape so first I put down all the petals in a darker shade darker hues and on them I paint my uh, light color either white or pink so that the flower stands out if it's very light towards white you're never going to see it so always have dark petals painted on your base coat on your paper and then start with your pure whites pure white will always make your painting look flat so it should be your last coat and just the highlight so my first coat was blue then I put in my petals pink and white pink a uh, slightly lemony I did all my petals and then finally I took my coat of white and put in all my cluster of flowers. Change the hues of the petals. This is my third coat to my gelfanium flowers and now I'm taking lighter hues of white mixed with slight amount of blue and in one petal and then slight amount of pinks in other petals so I get shades of all um, the colors when you look at a delphinium it has uh, the centers are yellow and the flowers are of many hues some are only pink some are only blue some have lots of hues in them so I'm doing the ones I'm painting the ones with uh, uh, multiple hues in them so I try to shift between light pinks light blues mixed with a lot of white and gradually I go layer over layer and I get that rounded look like as when you look at a delphinium bunch of flowers you see that roundness and the depth to it so you get that only if you paint in layers wait for the painting first layer to dry and then go back and put in your next layer of uh, petals repeat that process till you finally feel that your bush is complete and has the fullness and then I put in some yellow for the background merge it with my blues and get a beautiful look to my painting Join your cluster of flowers with green branches, stems, 
leaves and then throw in some stamen shades of blue, yellow. The background is now complete with a yellowish hue. And that's it. I'm almost done. I'll just finish my painting and come back. dropping in the shadow colors those are darker hues just to show that the flowers beneath have a shadow falling on them by the flowers on top of them so we can see the distance between the bunch of flowers That is also known as atmospheric perception. There are some flowers in the distance, some closer to you. So you can gauge the distance between and the depth of your painting and the flowers by throwing in shadows. That's it. It's done.